Hello everybody, welcome to another World of Final Fantasy part. And so here we are at the rail yard, also known as the train graveyard. I'm riding on top of a white chocobo, which is Chaz. I decided to make him go into an albino form because I felt like it. Uh, as far as I'm aware, when it comes to the white chocobo, unlike the regular chocobo, which is a mixed bag, white chocobo seems to be more supportive and healing oriented. Which is alright, you know, if Chaz is trying to be support, I, I support it. Oh, that was terrible. Killed him, you should smack yourself, silly. Uh, I digress. Chaz has a bit of the support going on. He's a little bit of a healer. Uh, no real reason for it. I just really wanted to get some variety in terms of Chaz because I usually have him in his chocobo form, so it's like, why not mix it up a little bit? I would go Hyperion, but the problem is I don't have the Joyride with Hyperion. They kind of buried it upon a bunch of abilities and stats and things, so you gotta go unlock that. And uh, it, it's, it's kind of annoying because I wish it was super straightforward. Something else I should explain about the white chocobo because I, I forget and I should show this off. I mastered its mirage board. This is dictated by the star so every ability is pretty much available to me. Also you should note that uh, when you master it you get a star and you get a bonus stat, stat slash ability. So I got strength plus plus plus. And uh, it, you get a selection of a things you get like i think five choices so i chose strength so she has a super strong even though he's support but i'm okay with that because uh, i'm pretty op and making me even more op just means that i'm gonna get through this place a lot quicker let's be honest the train graveyard isn't very exciting it's much it's very reminiscent oddly enough of final fantasy 7 it wasn't a very exciting place in fact what happened afterwards was super exciting. This, I don't know, there's vampires. Case in point, vampires. Uh, I, I guess you also have whereabouts if we're trying to be s specific and technical. I don't really give a shit. <laughs> but, no, I digress. The point is, uh, Ch Chaz is pretty good. He's mastered his white chocobo form. Uh, also, not exclusive to Chaz being a chocobo. I mean, if you master a whole mirage form... Like, say, I don't know, if you mastered, like, well, in the case of Point Chaz mastered his white chocobo form, so he gets a silver star. If I was to master his other side, like his chocobo chick and his regular chocobo form, also he has a third form, we don't know. If I were to master all three of those, fill out the entire board for all three, I would get a silver star and a bonus ability for that form. Likewise for his black choco chick and his Hyperion form, so... Uh, if you fill out a whole entire side on the board, you get a star. If you fill out the whole entire board for all the forms and everything, you get a gold star for the Mirage. And they're completely mastered and have all their capabilities and what have you, and their sync levels 100%. I've explained that, and I'm moving on. I had, I had to bring that up because, uh, I don't know, the game hasn't. It might. Who knows? Vampires. Right. Train Graveyard. Final Fantasy VII. There was ghosts. You know what they did? They disappeared. You know what they do in this game? There is no ghost. So you have vampires. They have an encounter. It's really annoying. It draws out battles a lot longer than they need to. And I know what you're saying. Actually, no, you don't. I don't know what you're saying. I know what I'm saying. That's, oh boy. I'm trying to be entertaining while I do this, but at the same time, it's really not that interesting. I mean... I guess I could go on about, like, what we got going on here, but I'm trying to digress back into Final Fantasy VII, because what else am I going to do? Final Fantasy VII was a fantastic game. I love it dearly. Look how far up we are. That bat must have really like high altitudes. Who? Me? The Prime, dummy. She said bat, not batty. I got a question. What does that have to do with anything in our current situation? Uh, because, I mean, you know, uh, high altitudes, that wasn't reminiscent of Final Fantasy VII. Uh, the most you'd ever go in Let's terms of height was quick. one car caboose. You'd go on top of uh, one of the trains, and that, that was it. You didn't have, like, a mountain of trains that you were climbing upon like this. You know, it's a mountain. Uh, Demi Vampire, by the way. Reflect magic back at it, and you can imprison it. I know, beautiful. Libra tells me everything I ever need to know with these guys. Also, have I shown off Bart's 
Let's do it. Clash on Big Bridge, everybody. I love it. Let's get this started. The summon. It's probably one of the most elaborate and really sophisticated summons, and it's really fun to just use it. Uh, so yeah, you know that that's uh, what we got going on for Barts. You got some Gilgamesh action going on there. It's a whole little mini battle, and it's it's, it's amazing. Um, I had to show that off at some point. I guess now is the showcase. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, that's been the battle. I wish it was multi-targeting because uh, it's it's just so amazing and it's single targeting. The more I get into champion medals, the more I find that a lot of them just single target things. Uh, honestly, my only choice between multi targeting is no or Balthier. That that's still a thing. Still kind of lame, but what can I say? So you know, Balthier, that's cool. Uh, unfortunately, Snow is still my saving grace if I had to do that, and I don't. Huh? Anyways, moving on. Moving on. What was I going to say? Uh, I, I like Final Fantasy V because I haven't played it and I, I still have no idea. But Gilgamesh is in it and that's, that's definitely worth liking it. Um, Looks like we've climbed up even higher. Either that or we've sunk to a new low. I mean, Rain, why why you gotta be like that? Why can't you just enjoy things? Why you gotta repeat yourself, Rain? Why can't you just yodel along with everybody? Is that just like telling us that you're too good for this? What what the hell, Rain? It's an adventure, it's not a journey. It's an adventure, it's not a destination. We should enjoy ourselves. I mean, so what if there's vampires, and they're getting in the way, and they're not ghosts, and it's loosely based on a place in Final Fantasy VII I, I only remember so much of because it's super forgettable, and there wasn't really a boss at the end of it until you got to the next area, so I, I guess technically there was a boss, and it was Reno, because uh, I, I remember that. I remember that. I like Final Fantasy VII. I remember the most padded out forgettable thing even if I say I don't because you know I'm like I, I don't I don't want to admit to being that much of a fanboy of Final Fantasy 7 because I really like how messed up it is like seriously there's a lot of sci-fi elements Genova is an alien I think that's really interesting Genova is also very horrific to look at I find that very fascinating also it mutated things because apparently Shinra decided injecting alien DNA and blood into people was the most effective way to figuring out results. Which, by the way, I think if that happened in real life, people would die or there'd be some severe consequences. Mainly death, but I, I don't know. I guess Final Fantasy, for whatever reason, is not going to go that dark, especially in the world of Final Fantasy. It's, it's pretty lighthearted. Pretty lighthearted. I'm having a fun-filled adventure, even though I'm going through a very padded-out scene of using pulleys and cranes to lower and raise train cars, abandoned train cars. It, it, I just had this random thought. Is this all related to, to the conductor? Cactuar, that, that conductor guy, everyone remember him? Uh, cause he, he does the train, right? Um, do, does he, is this just like an average day for him? He, he, he like conducts the train and then it's garbage. What does that guy do? What am I supposed to like assume with this? Let's Whoa. Make this quick. That that's not a mithril giant. I can't remember. I have it though. Uh lead giant. Uh that that's not what I wanted. Uh let's see. Libra Libra Brittis Channel Win. Man, I'm I got a lot of abilities, but none of these are really what I want. Raise, Libra, Banish, Chrome Giant Stack. That's it. That's what I. That's what I was going for. Uh, 
Unfortunately, I don't know if this is going to do anything. It did a thing. Not much in terms of damage, but it did a thing. Uh, it looks like we got a Skull Eater, which is a, it's a, it's a form for Cyrus. And we got, you know, an, an Imp, which I got Krampus, so I don't know why I have to really worry about any of this stuff. It's, it's kind of useless. It's not vampires, though, and that's pretty awesome. Uh, the train graveyard on its own, let me tell you something. Ghost, which would disappear, and that was really annoying to fight. And you had, like, this dragon thing, which uh, I don't remember a whole lot, because, you know, it was just this random enemy that you'd run into, and then you're done with it. But I remember there was a dragon thing. Um, and I don't remember its name, which I guess is normal, because why would you? It was just a normal enemy that you'd find in that point of the game. Uh, which was still pretty early on. You were in Midgar. The game really didn't open up until you got out of that. And that, that it took... It, it takes at least like uh i want to say five hours if you're not really sure what you're expecting but then again i mean uh considering it's me it took a whole day a whole 24 hour period because you know final fantasy 7 is all all sorts of crazy with its aliens and sci-fi plots and all sorts of weird confusing plots which took like three four tries like three four runs just to like actually get a good idea of what I'm actually up against because man it's really confusing mega elixir I can make use of that <laughs> so yeah you know Final Fantasy is having fun little game a lot of weird crazy stuff going on I don't really know too much of what to expect but hey it's a point and also one of these things I can make use of that also, that looks like a gimme goal, and I can't really make use of that because I don't have the item that it needs in order to let me pass. But there is a chest over here. For the gimme golem, I got the item. Now I can actually make it do a thing. But I also see another thing to zap. Along with more vampires. Oh boy, is this supposed to be representative of the ghosts back in Final Fantasy VII, which were annoying? And these things also equally have something along that line. Um. Instead of disappearing, they evade encounter. That's not so good. Uh, Final Fantasy VII, Train Graveyard, you solve some puzzles and you get through it. Man, I think I've laid down enough to get a good semblance. It was a pretty short area, too. I don't remember it taking more than three screens, but they were pretty good-sized screens. I also remember getting stuck in one part because the camera was kind of weird and you had to just kind of like navigate through uh, glimpses through holes and glimpses of, of like a one of the train cards otherwise I mean there you go that's Final Fantasy 7's train graveyard in a nutshell uh, I am almost certain there was another enemy an enemy I cannot think of uh, it might have been an insect or it might have been something else man I actually have the strategy guide to that I could look that up and tell you right now but I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not even gonna like have future kill them just do a thing make a post edit to like tell you what what you had going on there because it's, it's not important you know it's not the game that we got going on I just wanted to talk about the train graveyard in Final Fantasy 7 based on like my knowledge and memory because, I mean, what else am I going to talk about? Things that are going on. I mean, you got some crates. You got some train cars. Abandoned-looking train cars. Uh, you got a very confusing situation. Very reminiscent of Final Fantasy VII, I must say. Very reminiscent of the train graveyard back in that game. So, I mean, it, it, I, I guess it's very faithful to the source material. I appreciate that game. I appreciate what they did. Not really. I wish it was a little more straightforward and less bullshit. Alright, Gimme Golem. Speaking of bullshit, here you go. Wait. Y yes. I didn't mean to hit no. Yes. Take your bullshit and get out of here. Uh, that said, I guess I'm gonna go get some more chests as soon as I figure out what what the heck do we got going on here. We got squirrels and, and some demons. Man, this whole place is spooky. Uh, you know, it just hit me. If this was Halloween, this would be a very fitting place to be. It's, it's coming up. I, I, I'm gonna say this is my tie into Halloween, even though it's it's still a ways away. You guys, you guys look into that how deep you want, which is not very deep. A switch. Yeah, I know. I shouldn't mess with it, but I'm gonna mess with it. <laughs> what else am I gonna do with it?
So, uh, I might as well take a gander. What we got going on here? Switch. Wait a lot of thunder resistance. Oh. I don't know if I got anything for that. I mean, I got, um... I'm not seeing much in terms of options. I mean, Cheshire, I guess, you know, he's got 25 and a low weight. And, uh, oh, this is not looking very good. I might have to use a Seraphone to get around this. Ooh. My, my Thunder Resistance isn't looking so great, and my weight is also pretty lackluster. Well, guys, I think I'm going to end it off here because, uh, you know, yeah, unless I figure this out, and there, there's not really much I can do about it.